Okay, you are giving me Beyonce 2000. What? Tonight, I'll be a naughty girl. I'm calling all my girls. Do you see it? Koya, I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sacks, a luxury hair care company, and I'm here today to do a review on this Outre Dion wig. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to install it. Then I'm going to come back, let you know the wig specs, give you my pros and cons and final thoughts. So let's get to it. <laughs> installing Dion so let's go ahead and get into it. So Dion is a part of Outre's Melted Hairline. The Melted Hairline is super popular. They've been around for some years now. They come out with a lot of beautiful um, colors and styles. I am rocking Dion in DRFF Golden Amber and she comes in some special new colors and when it comes to color y'all, Outre do what they came to do, okay? Outre do what they came to do. You're not going to be Outre. They have a new color that I want to try. Toast, butter toast. Um, chocolate swore. Their red velvet is beautiful. Sandy blonde. And so they really have some great units. As I said in the beginning of this video, she is definitely giving me Yonsei early 2000s, right? With these uh, layers and this thickness to it. It really reminds me of that. And I know that's on trend because in fashion, a lot of early 2000s styles are coming back. So I guess it's going to be on trend, I guess, with hair and styles too. Now, as far as shifting the wig, you can um, shift the wig. So if you want to shift it, you definitely can do that. It did have a lot of baby hair. I just took, as you've seen, and combed the baby hairs back into the wig because I do not care for that. The texture on Dion is definitely more of a yakier texture. I feel like Outre is giving us a lot more yakky textures, you guys. So for my yakky texture girls, y'all keep banging them in here, okay? When I unbox Dion, she has a nice density, you guys. There is a lot of hair on this one as I was styling it and as I was rubbing my fingers through it, I did not experience a lot of shedding or tangling, which is a good thing, especially for a lighter or blonde color union not experiencing a lot of shedding and tangling is a good thing as far as the wig cap and the construction goes there is two combs in the front you have that center part and then you have the elastic band that is sewn in now I like this band a lot of people don't like it you definitely can cut it out if you have a bigger head um, but this wig definitely fits just fine if you have a bigger head I think she'll fit fine but you may need to comb that out if you have a smaller head I think that strap helps you and I think also why I like that band is because it helps you not to have to fully melt the wig down it really does a great job of holding the wig in place as far as the back of the cap it is open which is nice in those warmer months it has the typical comb in the middle with the adjustable straps and again at the nape of the wig, there's shorter hair so that you don't have to worry about the rubbing and getting all tangled and matted. I really like that 
Outre is starting to install these. I think that is super nice because that really cuts down on the shedding, tanging, and matting that these wigs do, especially when you wear it a lot, a lot, a lot and over time. The HD Lace, I didn't have to do any tinting, which was really nice. As long as you wear a black cap, I feel like you can get away with not tinting the lace um, if you really want to. I did go ahead though and put some makeup in there just to help and then as you've seen, I went in and opened up the part with my Fit Me powder, especially with the darker roots. I just feel like that really helps a lot. Now I did um, spray it down just here in the middle. I didn't glue it down all the way around because I tried not to do that if I don't have to because it's not really good for your hair. But I did go ahead and uh, just spray it down the middle because you could still see the lace and this is the melted hairline so I wanted to melt that in a little bit and I think it definitely did that so as you see me do that in the installation and really that is it for uh, this one. I do think she is a cute wig, so let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons. For the pros, the color on this wig is beautiful. You cannot beat Outre when it comes to color. Outre does their thing when it comes to color. I really want to try this butter toast color, but y'all be buying these wigs up. Okay, before sister can get to it. Um, I like that you can shift the part. She is a longer style wig, so I think that is nice. I like how the uh, layers frame your face. She is definitely giving me like date night. She's very sexy, very va -voom. and she was an easy install. To have all the bells and whistles, she was a really easy install. You definitely just have to work with the lace just a little bit. You know, not a super lot of tanning, just a little bit of makeup in the part, and I, of course, put a little bit under underneath just to help it melt better, but you didn't have to do that. You could just put it in the part probably really. That band, like I said, really helps so you don't have to melt it down. So for it to have all the bells and whistles, HD lace, and all this stuff, I think Think it was a really easy install as for the cons you know I think the style is really cute don't get me wrong I think the style's cute she's definitely voluptuous she's not though I don't know I feel like I was gonna like her a little bit more than what I do um of course she probably will do a little bit of tangling as time goes on because she is 20 inches and that is the nature of a synthetic wig they do tangle over time but that's really the only con I have I'm not that big of a fan of the style. I think I just feel like it's been done because it is kind of um, reminiscent of the early 2000s. But if you like the style, I definitely think you should add her to your collection. She's an easy install. The quality is definitely there. And of course, when I take this wig off, I'm not going to put it back into the plastic that it came out of. I'm going to put it in my luxury silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented. It's not only to store your wigs, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, matting, and tangling this wig would do. If you to place it back into the plastic or a box or a wig hair or wherever you are storing your wigs. So if you want to learn more about Silky Sacks and the fabulous products that I used in this video, we do sell them. Go ahead and check out the link to the website. It is down in the description box. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my Silky Chick shout out. And the shout out goes to Real Advantage Productions. Thank you so much for watching the videos, for taking the time to comment. I truly appreciate you and I thank you so much for taking the time to watch and comment. I love you guys, my silky chicks. So if you want to become a part of the family and get that shout out, make sure you leave me a comment. Also hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video. And if you're watching over on Facebook, hey, we love you over on the FB too, silky chicks. So now without further ado, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.